Season 2, The Pre-Show. Hi guys, welcome back to Thumbnail Season 2, The Pre-Show. And as usual, we always want to give you guys practical and expert help with the IELTS exams. And that is exactly what we're going to talk about in the second episode of The Pre-Show. So as regards four skills in IELTS, I think four skills are all important and challenging. What do you think about that? Some people I know consider writing to be the most difficult part. And do you believe that there's someone out there who can achieve a perfect score in IELTS writing? And if you still think that's impossible, then you really need to watch the rest of the show today because we are bringing you an IELTS expert whose IELTS writing is 9.0, guys, and it's not a joke. Anyway, I'm Kang Bi Chen, and this is Thumbnail Season 2, The Pre-Show! Thank you so much for taking the time coming to the show today. And thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Yes. I'm so excited. How are and you? I'm under uh, under a bit of a nerve as well. No worry because um, today we will talk a lot about a variety of topics. Mostly IELTS, but also we also want to know more about your colorful lives. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited and <laughs> eager. So are you ready to face up? Okay, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. So everyone is crazy about your IELTS writing. Like it's nine. <laughs> it's incredible. So can you share us briefly about mm. your way to nine zero in writing and like uh, when did that happen? Oh, uh, a million years ago. Yes. I can't remember anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, 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 I think that you still remember the moment when you know that, oh, I got nine in writing. Uh, the, the fact that I um, was not, uh, uh, was a bit surprised mm -hmm. because when uh, I was in high school, I used to get him. Oh. <laughs> so that's the reason. Um, so basically, I um, think um, the thing here is that uh, I always love uh, writing something and sharing. So uh, in some ways, it came to me quite um, naturally. Yeah, so it came to you as no surprise when you got nine writing. If I, uh, if I uh, got nine for speaking, it would be a big surprise. No, no I mean, it's really like native speaker. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I haven't taken the IELTS test for a long time, so yes. I don't know how it changed now. So as an IELTS expert and whose who's IELTS writing is nine, mm. would you mind sharing with us some IELTS tip, especially in writing? Um, sure. Uh, I, um, that's the purpose of uh, this show, I think so. <laughs> uh, there's one thing I'd like to share about writing, uh, is that um, a vocabulary is something I really uh, pay attention to when I prepare for the IELTS. So before you can write, before you can do anything with writing, you need to have some vocabulary to put in vocabulary bank. And the myth about vocabulary is that uh, it's seemingly we have studied or we have collected good vocabulary. So for me, uh, new words are not, the, not every word, uh, every new word is something we have to learn. So the, the things we, um, we put in our vocabulary bank to prepare for the IELTS test uh, must be the words or the phrases which, which struck our feeling or which, which are close to our heart. So for example, uh, instead of uh, learning just a solid word, we can uh, learn something uh, which is close to ourselves. For me, it worked, and it's something that uh, was close to my heart and goes to my mind. But before it goes to my mind, it goes to my heart first. Uh, so that's the way. I don't have to pay a lot of effort into remembering, into yeah. memorizing the phrase. So in fact, I. I put all my heart or put all my attention, my effort in collecting the words and the phrases um, which are not very difficult, uh, which are not very, uh, they say, academic words. Uh, I just care about the words and the phrases which are uh, usable and which are um, uh, close to me. Yeah, feelings are really important when you learn vocabulary and as long as you feel comfortable and you feel like that word is closer to my life, then you can really remember that. So I read on the internet that you once said that don't mm. push too hard. Just, just learn IELTS by feeling relaxed, comfortable, feeling your own moment. Yeah. Okay, so uh, thank you for uh, reading the piece. Yes. Uh, but before that, do you think it's, right, uh, it's the right way? Yes. 
to I prepare for the IELTS? I think it's absolutely true, but the problem here is that for me as a student, I cram for the IELTS and I like, I need to get this target, I need to get the score. How can I get rid of that feeling and just feel like, yeah, I enjoy learning? Um, I can't answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> because different people uh, approach the, 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 the thing with a different perspective. So, uh, um, from my own experience, it's very, very difficult to, uh, it's easier said than done. Uh, yes. When it comes to get, getting rid of the, of the pressure uh, and uh, of the purpose. Yes. Uh, for me, before I uh, started something, I, I, I will try um, or try to ask myself uh, the basic question. What exactly I can get from this subject? Or what thing get me excited or give me the feeling when I study? So when it comes to English, it's so easy because yeah. it's the books. It's the magazine and uh -huh. it's the movies. So when I see something interesting and can get some meaningful me message, it's mm -hmm. not learning, but it's about feeling. So yes. the thing here is, it's very difficult to get rid of the pressure and to, uh, to really focus on the test. But then if you try um, and, and listen to your inner voice, you will know what to do. I think <laughs> it will help a lot. Like yeah. try to find something you feel interested in and work on it. And you will improve your English gradually by doing so. Yeah. Yes, Thank definitely. You. <laughs> so I have known from everyone that you are one in ten people to get their Shivening scholarship from UK. That's, that's so amazing. Yeah, um, uh, I, uh, uh, I, I'm quite reluctant to talk about past achievements. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, I want to talk about it in, um, uh, in another way. Yes. Um, so to get the Chimney Scholarship, mm -hmm. I got a wonderful year in the UK uh -huh. to enjoy my life. Wow. So that's the way I look at the scholarship. <laughs> really? Yeah. So tell us three words to describe your um, UK student life. Three words. Yes, <laughs> three words. Briefly. Crazy. Crazy, yes. <laughs> As a young? Okay, because I was young. It was 10 years ago when oh. I was 23 years old uh -huh. and just fresh uh, out of the university. I got the yes. scholarship. So the first word was that is crazy. Crazy, yes. Okay. Uh, the second word. Free. 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 Because yes. I was on scholarship, so uh -huh. I didn't have to pay anything. Wow, <laughs> that's cool. That's definitely that's cool. cool. And it, uh, it included um, everything. The last oh, one. was amazing. Amazing, <laughs> how like your, your study, your life with friends. Everything was so beautiful, I can't describe. Um, so before I came to the UK, I, I, I knew that uh, UK could treat me well. Uh, despite all the things I read in the book, like uh, the, the English or the British uh -huh. are really cold. They are not friendly and they, um, uh, they, they are reluctant to hear you. Like <laughs> yes. Nothing like that when yeah. I was there. The British people uh, who, whom I met mm -hmm. are very friendly, wow. they are kind-hearted and they treated me very, very well. Yes. And uh, apart from the people, the UK scenery. So I got to see all the green in the UK. Mm -hmm. I went to Scotland, I went to Wales and I see all the best bits of the UK. Mm. So for me, it was the unforgettable peace, beautiful peace of my life. Yes. In the UK. Can you share us more about the scholarship, Shivening Scholarship? Because I guess that many audiences would love to hear about that, mm. especially those who want to study in UK. Okay. Uh, you should. You should apply uh, for Shivening Scholarship. Mm -hmm. Because as I said, it's one of the best scholarships in the world, wow. given by the Foreign Commonwealth uh, Office uh, of mm -hmm. the British government. So it is really prestigious. Uh, Shivening Scholarship is the um, like the postgrad, postgraduate uh, scholarship, so you can't apply for it until you graduate your university. So, um, but before that, you can prepare for the scholarship by studying really well and mm -hmm. getting like polished your um, your academic records. So, when you're in the university, you need to work hard and um, uh, build your record, your track record from your study, and apart from that, uh, try your best to help other people. Uh, to like to join in the vol vol volunteering um, work because um, everyone now volunteer and is the way to make our society better. Uh, the way I did was that in, uh, in my university, I, um, I joined clubs in my university like uh, everyone else. So uh, every, every small thing or, and little things you did count. So when it comes to scholarship, 
um, some people are like uh, adopted by um, by the word scholarship. When when they say scholarship, they think about something very high, yes. and some people really um, like they idolize the people. Uh, in fact, they are real people, the people <laughs> walking around us every day. So I've chatted to um, many people who got the scholarship and the, 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 the common thing we share with each other is the confidence, is the best thing we can prepare for a scholarship. So if you want something, you need to, um, to, 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 like, to believe in yourself and to do the research yourself. Uh, you can ask friends, you can ask around for information but sometimes the information is not correct and like it will let you down and it will damage your, uh, your, your self-confidence uh, and that's the, that's the moment you need to look back to yourself and find some confidence and do your research on your own and um, for training scholarship you basically you will need two years of um, employment before you can apply anyway it, count, it even counts the part-time job as the employment record and I got a friend who got the scholarship straight away after graduation. Wow. So uh, the, the little advice here is that believe in yourself and you um, try to work, um, it doesn't matter, the part time or full time, try to get a job from now. Even when you're studying. <laughs> Even when you're studying. Yeah, I think it's popular nowadays that many students in the university and college uh, also work part-time, full-time, yeah, maybe. Mm. And yes, I think your advice are really accurate and also detailed. Mm. Work harder in terms of academic study, in terms of extracurricular activities for community, and be competent. Yeah. Yes, be confident. That's it for our first part of our talk about your way to IELTS success, about your work, your study in UK as well. And I guess that all audiences here would also love to hear about your colorful lives. Are you ready to share with us more in the later on? Sure. Yes, definitely. Come on. <laughs> and guys, don't go anywhere because we'll be right back. Season 2, The Free Show. Welcome back to The Free Show, and we're here with Aung Vu Hai Dang, our IA expert and our guest today. So, I know that you are such a busy man. How is it like to be a dad, a busy dad? How can you balance your life? Oh, I have never um, have time to think about that. <laughs> so, um, it's best. crazy sometimes. Yes. Because um, sometimes you have kids nagging around, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes they are sick. Um, so it's really difficult because yes. uh, we can't or we can't be taught about being a dad. Mm -hmm. So you just learn on the job. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, no every day is like uh, the other day. So yes. um, uh, it's quite difficult. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the reward is big as well because um, <laughs> uh, because you have uh, little kids and see them grow mm -hmm. and uh, talk to them every day. I think um, it brings us some greatest joy yes. in our life. So, so it's very good yes. <laughs> to be a dad. <laughs> so how old is your girl and your boy now? Um, the one, the, uh, the big boy is mm. six, years, uh, six years, years old. Yes. And he's preparing for, uh, the school. he's in the very important year. Because yes. we are looking around for best school to send uh -huh. him to. So uh, Such a busy we time. have a crazy <laughs> and difficult summer. <laughs> mm -hmm. to get him to school, yes. uh, primary school. But the girl, how old is she? She's um, just over two years old. Over two years yeah. old. Very cute, very cute. Yes. Uh, running around and um, try to make a face uh -huh. and uh, talk a little cutie things. <laughs> very, 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 very lovely. Yeah, such a lovely dad. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that currently you are stricter to mm. on your boys, on your boy than the girl, right? Um, uh, in fact, my time is like divided mm, equally yeah. between them, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes we can we, we can separate because mm. they are all together. We are all together all the time. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so after uh, after work, mm. uh, I went home and then I met them, and we are all like the same bunch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So uh, like we eat together, mm. we uh, sleep together. So uh, I can't say. Mm, yes. I can't say. <laughs> so, do you teach your boy English at home? No. 
No. no. <laughs> Why? Because uh, because children don't need you to teach them English. Yeah. <laughs> they they uh, can watch television. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, um, in Vietnam or all over the world today, mm -hmm. uh, we are so lucky to have the social media. Yes. We have YouTube uh, and then uh, with Smart TV, the YouTube is on and uh, your child when listen to super simple songs mm -hmm. can follow the song and yeah. sing along and that's the way they learn a language. Yeah. So I don't even try to teach them at home. Yeah. In fact, parents can't teach me can't teach their own children <laughs> language. I believe so. <laughs> There's one quote I remember that asks the kids, they know everything. They know everything, yeah. Yes, they know everything. <laughs> what are your hobbies? Um, I have a lot of hobbies. Yes. <laughs> For example, um, um, talking to children, mm -hmm. uh, uh, reading. Yes. Uh, watching movies. So speaking of your hobbies, um, reading, for example, like uh, what type of books do you like, and what author as well? Mm. I I don't have a uh, um, one favorite author. Mm -hmm. So uh, I read all types of book, mm -hmm. uh, from thrillers to romance wow. to uh, non-fiction. Mm -hmm. So most recently, I uh, there's a book uh, which I have talked a lot about mm -hmm. everywhere. I talk about the book. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's the book about Jeff Bezos and uh, his age of Amazon. Wow. Uh, have you heard about the book? No, this is the first mm. time I have ever heard about the book. Ah, okay. Uh, the Can thing you review us for me? Uh, uh, sure, a little <laughs> bit of review. Um, so Jeff Bezos is uh, like one of the richest people in the world. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so reluctant to read books about rich people because yeah. I think getting rich is um, a hard work. And we can't teach other people to get rich. So yes. normally, I avoid uh, books about um, uh, how to get get rich and books about billionaires. Anyway, yeah. this book is like a fiction. Mm -hmm. uh, it tells a story from how Jeff Bezos built his empire, which is Amazon. Uh, there's a quote in the book which I still remember: "We are our own choices." Mm. So that's very very short one. Yes. Anyway, it's really true because if we choose to uh, to do nothing, uh, then we are the person who does nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but if we choose to do something great, we will be one day uh, uh, we we can become some somebody yes. great. Yes. So um, uh, that's something I love about the book. Um, but. The more important thing about this book is that uh, when you read about this guy and read about Amazon, you will see that doing business is not at all simple. Yes, it's so it's difficult. never simple and easy. So it gives young people uh, and it gives people in general the real picture of the chaotic world of doing business. Mm -hmm. So it clear all the myths and it clear all the like the uh, the wrong understanding of the wrong concepts of the business world. The rewards may be very big, very beautiful, but sometimes you fail. Yeah. So uh, I think that's the book every person should read because it gives you um, a lot of insight into the business world. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, uh, it also gives you um, some sense of the future where robots will do most of the job. How wow. we can, can, can harmonize or how we can compete or in other words, we can con not control, but we can work with the robots. So yes. um, it's the great one. I totally agree mm. when in this agenda, technology dominates a mm. lot. Yeah. And the review definitely mm. satisfied me a lot. Mm. <laughs> I think I will read it after, immediately after mm. this show. It's yeah. really interesting. And the thing here is that it's very, very easy read. Mm -hmm. It's like an easy read. Uh, with simple English, uh, yeah. short sentences, um, uh, and um, simple lot. Yes. So you can, I'm sure that everyone can read this book. Mm -hmm. So one tip, if you want to get a nine in IELTS writing, read the book. <laughs> wow, that's cool. <laughs> so I read um, one ebook of you, mm. how can I mm. uh, get your nine in writing? Yeah. That's ebook. Yeah. Do you have any intentions of writing your own book and publishing that? 
In fact, I uh, got several offers um, mm -hmm. from several uh, publishing houses. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, we are still in the negotiation process. Yes. And hopefully one day I will have a book of my own. Yes. <laughs> because um, uh, a lot of people have written books about mm -hmm. English. No. Um, anyway, I, um, I, I, have, I have read quite a few of those books and I think I can bring something new to mm -hmm. the table. About the IELTS or about English in general. About the way we study and about yes. the way we study English in particular. Mm -hmm. Because um, most books were about, um, uh, were about like something like grammar, mm -hmm. uh, something like strategies. Mm -hmm. when, but for me, it basically returned to the basics of feeling, of yes. um, simple yes. uh, joy of learning. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think the psychology features of your book will distinguish your book mm. from any other book in the store. Thank you. Definitely. Hopefully we'll have the book. Yes, I cannot <laughs> wait to see your book be published mm. and I will definitely be the one to buy that. Okay, you don't need to. Why? You will be given one free copy. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. That's it for our talk today with our guest, many IELTS writing tips, guys. And also, we have known a lot about our guest today, such an interesting man to talk to. And guys, there is one part that cannot be missing on the IELTS show, that is challenge part. And I guess they will be super, super fun and so much interesting. Are you ready to face off? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't go anywhere. We are back and this is the challenge part of the pre-show episode number two. And let's get into the first challenge and the first challenge is interesting and it has so much fun. Okay, I'm waiting. Yes. What is it? We will bring you a buzz. Yes. Wow. Can you give me a buzz please? Yeah, this is the buzz. Thank you so much. And the challenge will be in the buzz. And, and now your mission is open to it? open it. Yes. Ah, oh, let's see. And look inside. Where, what is that? What is that? Mm. It's not bad. Whoa! What will you do? And we this have challenge? this one. I think this is for you. A glasses. <laughs> Whoa! I love glasses. A bit of a costume. Maybe Michael Whoa. Jackson. That's so, well, it's really I can't decipher what um, the, the, the challenge is about. But do you um, like the spray? <laughs> I like it. Yes. Do you like it? <laughs> and I think that the challenge will be related to all of these things. Can you okay. guess what it is? Okay, I will review for you is dancing. Yes. Oh, I love dancing. You will have to wear <laughs> all of this and dance one song of it. Okay. Anyway. Are you good at dancing? Honestly. No. Uh, <laughs> but I think, uh, yes. And this dance may be a disaster. Anyway, I love to try. No, this will be so much fun. And okay. Everybody will love your dance for sure. Thank you. Let's Are you see. ready to face off? Okay. Let's get started right away. Thank you so much for dancing really well. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's my pleasure. <laughs> so, would you like to join the show in the season two? Of course. We would love to see you again in the season two. Thank you. And guys, do you believe that in the season two, you guys can really study along the show? And to help that, 
Dalmayel Season 2 will offer a special character who will scram for the aisles in each episode with the Dalmayel's crew members. And if you want to see how this character rocked the aisles exam, please stay tuned and look forward to Dalmayel Season 2 in this fall. And now I think it's time for us to say goodbye! And see ya! Bye bye!